Welcome to Nalcor Energy, Churchill Falls, where safety is our number one priority. The safety of our employees, contractors, visitors, and the public is Nalcor Energy's first and most important priority. Our goal is a workplace where nobody gets hurt or zero harm and a working environment where each and every employee is always concerned for their own safety and the safety of others. Everyone at Nalcor Energy is personally committed to our safety goal. Our goal is the foundation for our success as a safety leader. To achieve our safety goal, we ask all employees, contractors, and visitors to follow our safety credo. I always follow safety requirements and best practices. I always take the time to complete my work safely. I always take action when I see unsafe acts or conditions. We also ask you to reach out to others, speak up if you are concerned, and to get involved in our safety programs and initiatives. The safety credo is one of the key elements in our safety program to ensure that all our workers, contractors, and visitors return home safely to their families at the end of each day. While at the plant, please be aware of the following safety requirements. People arriving at Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls are asked to park by backing in at the station. Upon registering, visitors will be issued an orientation card. Here's your pass. Uh, when you're finished on site, I'm going to need you to return it to here at the main office. Then okay. I'll sign you back out. And when you're going through the gate, there's a little gray pad. Swipe it. The gate will open. You'll enter. And when you're coming out, swipe it and you can come back out again. Safety footwear, safety glasses, a hard hat, and a reflective vest must be worn on site. Your host will assist with your personal and protective equipment requirements. The main parking area is available near the Control and Administration Building. In this area, and on all Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls sites, vehicles must be backed in at all times. We advocate a back-in parking policy for many reasons. Front-facing vehicles can be driven out more easily in an emergency situation. It is also easier to see other vehicles and pedestrians when driving forward out of a parking spot. A 30 km per hour speed limit is enforced in the plant area. All employees and contractors performing work with Nalcor Energy, Churchill Falls, must wear seat belts for their personal safety. Smoking is not permitted in any of our buildings or vehicles. Smoking is only permitted outside in designated areas. Nalcor Energy, Churchill Falls, has in place a Safe Workplace Observation Program, or SWAP, we encourage all visitors, contractors, and employees to report any unsafe acts or conditions through the program. Your host or any employee can assist you in filling out a swap card and making sure the safety observation is appropriately managed. The reporting of unsafe acts and conditions is key to maintaining a safe work environment for all visitors, contractors, and employees. While on the Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls site, there are many hazards to be aware of, including slippery floors, overhead work, excessive noise, moving equipment, Visitors must be accompanied by their host at all times in restricted areas. Some of these areas include the switchyard and underground plant area, where proper training and evacuation and emergency procedures is a must. All Nalcor employees are trained in these areas and can assist you if needed. While on site, please familiarize yourself with the location of fire extinguishers, fire alarms, first aid kits, eye wash stations, and emergency exits in the areas where you will be visiting or working. In the event of a fire or other emergency, an alarm will sound. All visitors are expected to follow their host to the nearest emergency exit. 
Once outside the building, all employees, contractors, and visitors should go to the nearest muster station and identify themselves to the fire warden. In the event of an underground evacuation, an alarm will sound. Procedures are in place to help ensure the safety of all persons in the underground facility. Please ensure you remain with your host. Uh, item number three on our list is the inspections. Um, Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls Occupational Health and Safety Committee meets on a regular basis and conducts regular inspections of all facilities. This committee plays a key role in monitoring workplace conditions and advising on occupation health and safety regulations and company policy and procedures. Okay, let's check the emergency exit again. Right. Yep. Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls has many safety protection systems in place in case of emergencies. Eyewash stations are located in designated areas throughout the facility. Any use of these stations must be reported to your host. Fire control systems are also located in designated areas throughout the facility. These systems are operated by trained employees. First aid kits are located in various areas throughout the facility. Any use of supplies in these kits must be reported to a Nalcor employee to ensure the used supplies are restocked. While on site, be aware of any safety signage and barrier tape. These signs identify hazards in the area and caution must be taken for your personal safety. Thank you for visiting Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls. Your safety and the safety of all our workers, contractors and visitors is our number one priority. Our focus will always be to ensure you return home safely to your family. Please enjoy your time in Churchill Falls and remember to always think safety first at home and at work. The pressure you'll put on this act here is roughly the same as what it will be on an adult. Go ahead. All Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls employees and contractors must be trained to perform their assigned work safely. Some of this training includes first aid, fall protection, confined space, work protection, aircraft safety. We want to point out where all the emergency equipment is located on the aircraft before we go flying. Safety footwear, safety glasses, hard hats, and reflective vests must be worn at all times. Contractors are required to provide their own PPE. The type of work being performed will determine the PPE required. PPE must meet Nalcor Energy's standards. When equipment and material are transported outside the facility, a tie-down policy will come into effect. The tie-down policy requires that all material transported in the back of vehicles must be tied down or secured in the proper manner. Nalcor Energy Churchill Falls has a lockout procedure in place for the protection of workers. Do not touch or attempt to remove any locks or tags located on any devices. All employees Contractors and visitors must swipe their identification cards to register at the underground access elevator door. When you swipe your card, your name will appear on the monitor next to the door. Check the monitor to make sure your name is there. While exiting the underground area, swipe your card and make sure your name is removed from the monitor. Safety footwear, safety glasses, high visibility clothing, flashlights, ear protection and hard hats are mandatory in the underground area. In the event of an emergency, it is important to be signed in or out of the underground area so our emergency response team can respond to all identified personnel. In the event of an underground evacuation, an alarm will sound. Procedures are in place to help ensure the safety of all persons at the underground facility. Before employees are permitted to work underground, they must obtain evacuation training through our operations personnel. While in the switchyard, there are 23 phones located in designated areas for emergencies and to communicate with operations personnel. 
the phone has a direct line to the control room to report any emergency. Give your name, location in the yard, and the nature of the emergency. All employees and contractors should familiarize themselves with the phone locations near the 735 and 230 breakers. Okay guys, today uh, we're going to do a uh, gasket inspection on top T74B phase. Before we go up, we're going to do our tailboard safety talk. So we're going to run down a few of our uh, checks here. Prior to starting any job, all workers must participate in a tailboard safety talk and be familiar with their assigned job requirements and the associated hazards. The tailboard safety talk is used to identify hazards, perform an evaluation, and put proper controls in place to mitigate the risk for any job. Workers must sign the tailboard safety form once they are finished their talk to indicate they understand the job requirements and hazards. Contractors can use their own means of identifying hazards if those means meet NALCOR's requirements. If NALCOR's requirements are not met, the contractor will use the tailboard safety talk form provided. The contractor must also follow NALCOR Energy's procedure and start each job with a tailboard safety talk. NALCOR Energy, Churchill Falls, requires all employees and contractors use a step back 5x5 five five card before starting any task. It encourages employees to take five minutes to go through five important steps to ensure the safety and the safety of their fellow workers. Okay, Sean, before we get started, let's do a step back five by five. Uh, think through the task, look for the hazards, assess the risk, make the required changes, and do the task safely. Okay, so first of all, if we look around on the back of this equipment, here, we have some exposed wires with possible live voltage on that. Nalcor Energy, Churchill Falls, is proud of its safety commitment and wishes you a safe and enjoyable visit. When leaving our facility, please return your PPE and security pass. On behalf of Nalcor Energy, Churchill Falls, we thank you for your time. Your safety and the safety of all our workers, contractors, and visitors is our number one priority. Our focus will always be to ensure you return home safely to your family. Please enjoy your time in Churchill Falls and remember to always think safety first at home and at work.